Welcome YouTubers, welcome. This week we're moving on from the class I uploaded last week. We looked at the first principle, Open to Grace. And today we're looking at second principle, which is muscular energy. So we set the foundation like we did last week. And then this week we're drawing in and creating some muscular energy. You're gonna need a yoga strap, so grab that. Make sure you've liked the video and subscribed to the channel. And we'll get going. We're gonna start in Virasana because Muscular energy is all about um, drawing into a midline, and we do that in um, three ways. I will talk about it during the class, but let's center and draw in. So take a cushion underneath your heels, take a seat, all right? And here, as you squeeze your, your legs towards each other, bring your hands down and press your hands down. Muscular energy is a, a very much drawing in. It's almost like giving yourself a hug a settling energy and beginning to, to find your muscles, find that strength and find that centre line, that, that place of strength and steadiness. So as you sit here in uh, hero's pose, place your hands on your thighs, do the good stuff of last week, breathing in, taking the shoulders back and start to draw in. And even if you're feeling a bit wishy-washy today and not so fabulous, Draw in on your breath and breathe it up and down the length of your spine and allow yourself to settle and come in and the muscular energy will give you this sense of reassurance, as I say, a self-hug, maybe a little dose of courage as well. So take a deep breath into your centre and a long breath out. Do another round like that. Inhale fully. Exhale completely. Bring your hands to your heart center and press right palm into left palm, left palm into right palm. So come to the center line and we'll seal in with one lovely arm. Take a deep breath. Oh. Take another full breath in, lovely yogis. And then again, release your hands onto your thighs, giving yourself again this sense of remembering, drawing, settling. It's a very earthing feeling that we get from muscular energy, contractive force. Okay, and then open your eyes. Well done. Just gently take your spine right and left, just for good measure before we start to get into the muscular energy. Inhale, come up. Exhale, twist to your right. So give yourself a nice twist around. Back to center and then around the other side. Always like to start with the six rotations of the spine. Back to center, gentle back bend. You can interlink your fingers like we did last week. Okay, and then let's come forward into a forward fold, into a child's pose. Moving all your bits and pieces to the side. Place your hands on the mat, push them down and forward so that you can anchor your bottom down. Make sure your knees are a little bit wider. And then soften in. Soften down. But as you look up at your hands, claw the mat. You get a sense of connection with the earth. Lovely. Soften. Remember, you can come to child's pose at any point in this class. It's all about coming into your center. It's not about anybody else or anything else. Okay. And then gently push through a downward dog. Just for a moment, walk it out if you'd like to. I'm going to start our class standing. So step your feet up to the top of your mat, hands to your hips come on up to standing well done so um, make sure your feet are in a hip width apart so those bony bits of your hips line it all up no outwardly turned toes or inwardly turned line it all up nicely okay now lift and widen your toes like you're having a pedicure like I, you know as if you your toes were my fingers spread your fingers as well that lift try and lift all t 10 toes up spread them wide you'll create arches in both sides of your feet. 
and then imagine that you're trying to pull on tight yoga pants lift your kneecaps can you feel how that tones the muscle in anusara we call this skin to muscle muscle to bone it's like you're giving yourself your bones a hug and if you spread your hands you'll be able to feel that it's harder to feel in your hands because they're in the air not got anything to touch so you, if you could find a wall to press against you'll feel the energy more in your hands okay and then relax the toes but see if you can keep you see feel the muscles toning the bone okay and then sit into your legs utkatasana or public toilet pose as i call it and then inhale come up to standing see if you can keep the muscles toning the bones so you're not just hanging out here reach your arms up spread your fingers turn the palms towards each other and it, as you might notice it's harder to feel in the bit that's in the air the arms okay so grab anything so look i've got a pair of socks here a pair of socks and an eye pillow so literally you could grab anything a book um the dog, <laughs> a tennis ball, and put those somethings in your hands. And if you relax your hands, and then squeeze in on them, contracting. See how the, my arms are actually shaking a little bit. This is skin to muscle, muscle to bone. As you give it a little bit of a grip. Now, let's do that again with these things in our hands. So lift and widen your toes. Feel the muscles of your legs tone the bone. Okay, and then reach the arms over the head with this little grip in your hands. And I'm hoping you probably feel now more connected to those arms. And you want to try and keep this energy even when we let these things go. So feel how your muscles tone. And then sit into chair pose, again, holding something, gripping something. Can you feel your forearms working? Really grip, almost like it was an orange or something. You're trying to squeeze the juice out of it. This is skin to muscle, muscle to bone. Keep all of that as you hinge at your hips and dive forward. So don't let the arms just go there. Okay, keep squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. And you could touch your fingers to a block or the floor here. And that, again, that touch will help you keep the skin to muscle, muscle to bone. Lift into your tummy and then exhale, bow a bit deeper. Now come up without your objects. See, as you lift your arms wide, can you imagine you're lifting something or you've got those objects in your hands? Pretend they're there as you reach up and find a more awareness in your arms. Often I see people in these poses like, Ugh. okay, so fire up your arms, skin to muscle, muscle to bone. Come to the top of your mat, claw your imaginary objects or claw the air. Can you feel that? I'm hoping you can. Exhale, sit into Utkatasana. Hinge from the hips, Utkatasana. Touch the floor, push it, tone your arms. And then step your way back to plank. Place the hands, claw the mat, lift your chin. So you're looking towards the top of the mat. Okay, and then from here, imagine you're now drawing your hands towards each other. This is hugging a midline. So you look back at your feet, they should be still stepped apart slightly, but imagine you're drawing to a midline. You feel your triceps fire up. Can you feel that? And then keep that as you come to downward facing dog. Let's do that a couple of times. So inhale to high plank. You don't have to move your hands and feet. They should stay as long as they are in plank. Hug that midline. It's almost like you're trying to wrinkle this mat as you hug the hands in. Okay, lift your booty down with dog. And then walk your hands back towards your feet at the back of your mat. Again, get some purchase on the earth so you can feel that connection to your, all your limbs. And then inhale, come on up. Exhale, bring your right hand to your left shoulder, your left hand to your right shoulder, and give yourself a hug. So pull in. The next way muscular energy moves is to a midline. So pull in, imagine this beam of light down the middle of you, and you're hugging in side to side. Give yourself a hug, this sense of reassurance, and saying, yeah, you got this. Okay, and one way we can feel this better is if you've got a couple of blocks, or some books, get rid of these things, um, th th you can feel this more. So put the block between your shins 
I'm going to do chair pose again and put the block between your hands. So you could also get the grip, which would be skin to muscle, muscle to bone, and squeeze into the block. Your chair, hug a midline. Imagine this beam of energy. Hug into that midline. Reach your block overhead. You can claw it, skin to muscle, muscle to bone, and hug a midline. Sit down a little deeper. Don't we all love a good head chair pose? This makes us remember how strong you are. Sit down deeper, guys. And although you might be thinking, I want to come out, I want to come out. <laughs> you can do this. We're mustering up your sense of courage and strength and steadiness. Sit down a little bit more. Awesome. Squeeze it and then up to Tadasana. Still squeezing the block on both blocks. Okay, this is hug the midline. And in a minute, we're going to get rid of the block. And I want you to remember this beam of light. Exhale, release. Okay, so close your eyes. Imagine that hugging in. And we're going to put it into another couple of poses now. All right. So, top of your mat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale and bow. Step back to a plank. Make sure it's long. You're hugging the midline, so you're drawing the hands towards each other, drawing your legs towards each other. Give yourself a cough, <coughs> because the midline is also front to back, like you're a sandwich. Okay. And then lift your booty downward dog. As you lift your right leg up behind you, now that's on earth, still spread the toes. And now watch this, as I turn the hip out, I don't want to do that, I still want to hug the midline, so my inner ankle, hugs to a midline. Release that down. Pick up your left leg and hug the midline. So don't lift it too high, otherwise we lose this centering, this ground if the contraction of muscular energy. And release that down. Inhale, lift your right leg again. As you exhale, step it forward between your hands and bring your back knee down. Bring your hands to your hips. So even now we've separated the legs, we're still drawing the right heel back and the left knee forward to draw it to this central light in you. As you exhale, lunge a bit deeper. You can use your hands to hug you side to side. Remember that. And then if you're happy here, reach the arms up as if you've got a block, hug your hands side to side. Lunge in a little deeper. Okay, and if you feel you've got that, Tuck your back toes and start to press into crescent lunge. You're hugging side to side, front to back. Draw the ribs in. Reach and stretch. Superb. And then exhale, peel your hands down. Let's switch legs. So step your left leg forward, your right leg back. Soften the knee down. We don't forget the work of last week, okay? So don't rush into each pose. You still soften. You still breathe, and then layering on this muscular energy. So drag your left heel back, your right knee forward. Okay, come on up. Your hands on your hips for a moment remind you to hug side to side, and then reach on up. I hope this is making sense. If it is, put notes in the comments for me, and if there's any extra bits you need explaining. Lunge in a bit deeper, and you're hugging front to back, side to side. This is the second way muscular energy travels. Okay, and Jane Asana. Sweep your hands down. Step your right leg forward. Inhale, come up to standing. Hug your midline, spread your fingers. Skin to muscle, muscle to bone. Exhale, hands to your heart. Step wide now, lovely yogis. Okay, and now even though now we've got the feet really wide, it's still the same thing. It's like I'm trying to wrinkle this mat. Your inner thighs will engage, so squeeze in. So you can give them a check. Check that they're, they're squeezed in there. I bring my hands to my hips as again this reminder of hugging in. Lift my core, and again, reach up. Stay with your torso orientated towards the long edge of the mat, okay? And then turn your left toes shook, shook, to the short edge. Now, as I lunge into this leg, I'm not just going to go, okay? 
I've still got this idea of dragging this left heel towards my right arch. So drag in, lift your pelvic floor, and then lunge in to the leg. I've still got drawing this heel back, drawing this foot forward, hugging a midline, reach up. You should really feel this much more in your legs than if you just like, just hang out. Okay, squeeze in muscular energy. Find your midline, yogis. Find that sense of strength. And then expand the arms out. But now imagine someone's pressing on your fingers and from your fingertips, you're drawing up your arms and which helps you plug your arm bones back. This is the third way that muscular energy travels from periphery to your core. Okay. Straighten that left leg, turn the toes in. Let's go the other way, turn the right toes out. So spread everything, feel the skin to muscle, muscle to bone. As you lunge in, you're drawing the right heel and the left arch towards each other. Help lift your pelvic floor. Hug that midline, reach up. And then as you open your arms to warrior two, from your periphery, the very tips of your fingers, Plug your arm bones back. Feel like you're sucking energy up the bones of your legs into your pelvis. You hug into the focal point, which is here in your pelvis. Virabhadrasana, three. What did I mean, three? Two, Virabhadrasana, two. What am I talking about? Straighten your right leg. Well done, turn the toes in. Bend your knees and step your way together. Okay, let's lie down on our mats now and take um, a yoga strap with us. Just quickly, we're going to be standing up again in a moment. And as you do this, loop the strap over your right foot. Just looking again at that third way from periphery, which is the extremity, to your focal point. Okay, so as I lift my leg, this is my periphery. And instead of just sort of throwing the leg up and lifting out of the hip. I want to draw this back. See, watch the difference, plug back. So I'm gonna use the strap to help me. So this is unplugged and then I plug back. Get this femur bone right back into the hip socket. And I'm gonna use the strap to help me do that plug. As I extend my left leg, extend your left leg too. And see if you can feel like from your toes of the left foot, you're pulling up into your hip. So your, your femur bones plug in. Even with your shoulder, from your fingers to your shoulder, plug that shoulder back. And then start to bring the leg out to the side like that. This sense of pulling in, it'll make you feel steadier and stronger. And you'll get that sense even more when we bring this up to standing in a moment. Okay, take one more breath here. So draw from your foot up into your hip. And then inhale, come up. And exhale, let's do the other side. I'm gonna spin round because I have a wall in my way. Okay, so hook the strap on the foot. Right leg extends, so my right foot, even though it hasn't got the strap there, I'm pulling up into my hip. Pull on this strap from my toes Fingers, plug. everything operates better like this. Our joints love us more when they're in the socket, connected, okay? You can even imagine someone was pressing down on your foot, pulling this femur bone back. And then keep that as you start to bring the strap, uh, your, your, sorry, your foot to the left. Don't, suck, just because you want to get the foot to the floor, don't unplug the hip, keep pulling it back. You might not go as deep, but you will be safer. Let's hold this for a couple of breaths. Plug the hips back, periphery to core. This is the third way muscular energy travels. And you'll hear me talking about this in all my classes, stuff. Okay, well done. Let's try this standing up. So inhale, come on up, and then release that down. Come up to standing. I think it's probably best if I face this way and you might be able to, to see this better. So we're gonna do the same shape, but now we're standing up, okay? So bend your right leg and as you do that, you're gonna hook the strap 
over the arch of the, the right foot. Okay, hold it in the right arm. And keep the right leg uh, bent to start with, pull the hip back, plug in. And then as you extend, what we tend to want to do is send that foot off away from us so the hip unplugs like this, see? Now as I plug periphery to core, toes up into the hip, plug back. Can you see the difference? Watch, unplug, plug. Naughty hip, <laughs> a good healthy hip. Okay, and then from here, you can try, bring it out to the side. You don't have to do this bit, but plug in, like you've plugged into yourself. Try and turn the outer hip down as well. So again, the butt cheek's not lifting, it's wrapping down. That's an outer spiral. We're gonna talk more about that next week in my next video. So make sure you subscribe so you get all the notifications. Okay, and then back to center, keep pulling from periphery up into your core and then release that down. That good? All right, other side. So strap in the left foot. Okay, and start by bending it. With that bend, you'll be able to get this hip right the way back more happily. Okay, and then extend and I'll show you the naughty way, unplug. This will make you feel more steady as you plug. Unplug and then periphery to core. See, isn't that good? Stay here guys, or if you'd like to come with me, you can bring the foot out, but don't sacrifice this lifting and leaning back. That's not gonna work, so plug in. Okay, even lean your torso forward a little bit. For three, two, one, super, come on back. And then release it down. All right, let's play with all three um, of those uh, ways muscular energy travels now. Let's do some basic uh, Vera 2 and Trikonasana work. So step your feet wide. Good work of last week, pause. All right, now turn your left toes, shung, shung. Lift your toes, tone the muscles to the bone. Give yourself a cough. Now contract to a midline, hug the midline, reach up, hug your midline. And as you exhale, lunge into uh, the front leg there. And imagine you're drawing energy up from your feet, up into your pelvis, that's periphery to core. Reach your fingers out from fingertips to heart, plug. Then straighten your left leg. Keep all of that, that plugging in as you turn around, turn around, turn around. Reach around to Trikonasana. Your left hand can be on a, a block. And then from here, reach up. From your pelvis, push down your legs, reach up through your heart. Enjoy the pose a moment. We'll talk about organic energy as well in a couple of weeks. Trikonasana, feel that contraction to bring more stability to this very open pose. Got that? And then bring your top hand to your hip. Push down your back leg so your back leg brings you up. Inhale. Come on up. Let's go the other way. So turn the left toes in, right toes out. Pause, you're doing so well. You are very courageous. You've got this, you're strong. This is, these are all the messages that muscular energy bring to us, all right? So lift and widen your toes, feel the skin to muscle, muscle to burn. Cough, reach your arms up, spread your fingers. Now, second way, hug a midline, shung, shung. Bend into the right leg and then feel periphery to core. <laughs> Plug it all in. Keep all of those principles drawing into your midline. Straighten your right leg. And even though this is a big open pose, can you stay plugged in and steady as you bring yourself around into good solid alignment? And then when you're there, then you can lift your heart, lift your face. And you've got there into the most beautifully aligned way. And now you can enjoy. So reach and stretch and smile. Gorgeous yogis. And then bring your top hand to your hip. Push into the leg to use your legs, not your poor old lower back. 
Turn the toes in. Lovely, and step your way together. Well done. Once more, squeeze a midline. Inhale, reach up. Squeeze, hug the midline. Exhale, bow to, bow to your right. Come on up. Take it to your left. Come on up. I'm going to do exactly this, laying down now. So these principles apply whether you're standing, sitting, twisting, whatever they are, apply to every pose. So connect your feet together, connect overhead, and then bow to your right. Oh, I've got a thingy in the way here, so I'll have to lift up a bit. But hug that midline, Lift, spread your toes, spread your fingers, feel the muscles, turn the bone, and hug your feet up into your hips. From your fingertips, plug your shoulder blades on your back. Your joints will love you. Back to center, and then to the left. Back to center. Well done, yogis. Tuck your knees into your chest, give yourself a little hug. Ultimately, hug in, curl in. Give yourself a congrats. You made it through the class. Strong, contractive energy of muscular energy. Like a self-hug of reassurance and love. Well done, you. You are stronger than you sometimes believe. And then gently unravel. We tell these messages to our friends, don't we, and the people we love all the time, but we rarely give it to ourselves. Press your elbows in, scoot your shoulder blades on the back and soften in. So in your head here, as you breathe into Shavasana, Seed yourself these messages that you are strong, courageous. You've got this. You're doing a fabulous job. Relax. And I will leave you here for as long as you need for a beautiful Shavasana. And I'll see you on the next video. Namaste.